Here are the head coach of the Cavaliers, Dane Dameron. Kickoff getting closer, August 30th, Carl Smith State against Neville State. Coach, you just wrapped up a preseason inter-squad scrimmage. Uh, just your initial thoughts of today's scrimmage and how things are going to this point. Um, I was happy with today. I think the, you know, the emphasis today, we, we know the weather wasn't going to be very good. You know, so we had a chance to, to work on some things and, and, and try to emphasize some things that are very important to what we got to do. And I thought we met all those goals. You know, I think defensively, we got a chance to get the football team. Those kids run around and, and, and create a lot of havoc. And I thought offensively, we execute pretty well, other than just some, you know, just some simple things that are very correct. We're just, we're inside the 10-yard line three or four times, I think, and that false start or something like that. So we had perfect ball security, no, no ball on the ground, no interception. So I thought I was very pleased with it from that aspect. Uh, it's, it's kind of a double-edged sword to do inner squad scrimmage. One part's good, one part maybe not so good. And you talked about the penalties a little bit. Red zone defense, though, including that, I thought was really good today. Oh, there's no question. I thought that they, uh, they stepped up when they needed to step up and they're back for against the wall. You know, now, on the flip side of that, as you said, you know, we got to score those opportunities. You know, we got to get some kids healthy. We don't have anything major, but we got to get some kids healthy. We're thin in a couple of positions right now, and, which, I mean, that too is a double edged sword because it's forcing us to get some younger kids that we probably would count on to be contributors this year. You know, they're having to, they're having to get some reps. You know? So, but I mean, it's been a good camp, Daryl, and uh, I'm happy with where we're at. I like the chance that we have as a football team. I think our kids are body into what we're trying to do. So now it's just uh, day by day and, and we'll get ready for that first one. Obviously, there's position battles all over the field. Are there any at this point where you've seen some headway and some progress made where a kid has won a spot, uh, maybe that when you started camp was an open battle? Yeah, we'll get back and really look at this field. I'm not going to make that right now until we have a chance to look at this field. I think we went 60 plays today. You know, if the weather had been a little bit better, I wanted to go a little bit more. But, you know, we got done what we needed to get done today, and that's the main thing. It's, you know, it's been a long 13 or 14 days. You know, and these, these kids have a chance to take tomorrow off and get their body healed up. Coaches will be watching the field and, you know, and see it. Who has stepped up? We've had a lot of kids step up. You know, we've had some, we've had some linebackers that you know that I didn't know they were going to be ready to play. That have really shown that they're going to play and gave us, some, give us some depth there. Got some younger offensive linemen that have proved that they can play. But it just goes back to got to get some keys on the field. You talked about the defense flying over the field, and one thing I noticed, it seemed to be flying over the field, but under control, tackling well in space. Yes, absolutely. I think that's one thing that Coach Boyd and his staff have done a great job. This camp is really emphasizing. Know, tackle space because that's what football is. It's no longer playing in the phone booth. You know, it's it's played 53 yards wide. I mean, you got to make sure that you're able to come under control and, and track that back in to make the tackle. I think they're doing a good job. A little bit to the other side of the ball and a little bit of a throwback guy, Jamora Cousin. I, I love to watch the man run the football. He's just hard nosed and seems like he's always turning his feet and he's falling forward. Yeah, he's he's a, he's a tough tackle. He runs hard. And, you know, the thing about Jamora that's different with block backs, he likes to pass protect too. He's a physical kid, and that's going to give us something we've not had here. But we got to get Vic Mitchell. We got to get Paul Purvis healthy. You know, it's, it's just little nagging things that, that they've not been able to, to to get some things done. And, and on the, the good side, downside of that is it's kind of increased Jamar's workload. You know, it's forced him, which is a good thing. But you know, he's probably too many carries here in camp. You know, so we've got to get those other two ready to go. We feel like we've got good stable running backs. Twelve days to kick off, seven o'clock, August 30th against Glenville State. Thanks, coach. Thanks, Daryl. Appreciate it.